Oh, dig this. <laughs> Flying the colors. <laughs> Go for it, man. Yeah. It's L coming. L for Linda. General Motors should be building. That's what they Absolutely. should do. Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're in Maryland for the Ridgely Car Show. This is a really cool little town, and they pack them in here, let me tell you. A street down this side, street down that side, park in the middle, about 850 cars. Going to be some pretty special people here today, too, so let's have a big time. Brenda, how you doing? I'm doing great. Well, yeah, oh, you seem so calm now. You are a high energy person. I sure I've am. Been, you've been flying around here all day. Yes, yes. I've been up since three o'clock this morning. <laughs> <laughs> but what a great show. I mean, it's an unbelievable show. Thank this, you so much. This originally much. show's been going on how long? This is our sixth year. Yeah, yeah. And we've been doing it for the Petty Family Foundation for five years. Oh, cool. Hey, yeah, look, it's Richard Petty. Yeah. My hero. You've you been checking all the cars? Been checking man, them all. Them no, man. There's a lot of cars here today. There are. But I'm a car girl. You are a car girl. So how, many, I have how, a many cars, how many cars? 846 cars, which is our best. Wow, that's a lot of cars. Yeah, and we're just a little, little town. Well, it's a, and a nice little town. Yes. You know, I love, this, I love the street. You know, kind of this uh, almost boulevard. You got the park down the middle, exactly. basically. And then, I mean, we're staying a, a little ways from here, but this is a cool area. I mean, and cool talk area. about a lot of great seafood. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes. We have great seafood on the Eastern Shore. <laughs> Definitely. And, and mostly uh, Eastern seaboard cars or people? Uh... Um, I have people as far as Canada. Oh wow. Florida. Wow. West Virginia. Um, Upper Maine. Wow. So wow. and one from Vermont. <laughs> oh nice. So yeah. Right. So you have Richard Petty here today. Yeah. We have Ms. The Linda, lovely yep, Linda Vaughn. Oh, it's so wonderful. She, Hall of Famer yeah, here. Hall, Hall of Famer, Famer here. <laughs> <laughs> and something else that we added to our show that really took off was our road rally. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's we had cool. a, we did tour Caroline County, cool. and people came from all over the state to actually do our road rally. Yeah, so. I can't. I honestly, I can't believe you've given me this much time. I know you're really busy, so I'll let you get back to work. Thank In fact, you. I'll escort you back to the show. Let's go. Thank you, and thank you so much for coming. Oh, wonderful to be thank here, love. Well, Neil, I love this car. Thank this, you. It's, she's a 32, but it's not a 32 Ford. 32 Chevy. It's a 32 Chevy. <laughs> You've had this car for quite a while. 43 years. 43 my, years. My dad bought it for me when I was 15. You've hung on to it all that time. I mean, most of us don't do that. We're not that smart. Yes, that's that's true, but I figured since my dad bought it for me, I How cool need, so, needed to keep a hold so of it. So, I mean, was it a stock 32 or was it already a hot rod when... when, uh, uh, when it was originally a 32 coupe. Oh, wow. And uh, 10 years ago, I took the top off, and uh, with the help of Six Deuces Speed Shop, we turned it into a uh, Roadster. Well, she's really cool. And of course, I mean, how do, you, how do you miss right off the bat? I went, oh, man, it's a 348. No, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a 409. No, it's a, what is it? It's a 348 Chevy with a 409 pan. OK, so that's why the dipstick's dip over here. That's why the dipstick is on the passenger side. I, I love, you know, I mean, Six Deuces. I mean, that's you can't a, go wrong with Six Deuces. You, you can't go wrong with Six Deuces barrels. And are you running all six or just center It's two? just running off the center, too. Uh -huh. Which makes more sense. It then. makes, yeah. Then you can actually drive the You thing. can actually drive the car, which I do a lot. This windshield is kind of interesting, too. What's the deal on that? Is that an aftermarket or? That's actually a 32 Ford windshield that Six Deuces chopped down and re, uh, reconfigured the, the uh, cowl to make they it all fit. They actually had to modify the cowl had to, to had, get the Yeah, had to modify Ford. the cowl to make oh. the uh, windshield fit. Well, she is so subtle. And again, again, the, the satin gold, man. I, it works. I yeah, love it. I just wanted something totally different and uh, nice things about the satin. It, it can be dirty and you can't tell. I know. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I just love it. And, and you know, you got these kind of period uh, ET wheels. You, know, you got the caps on the front, but you did something weird on the back. They actually took a, a stock cap uh -huh. and uh, cut the center out and recessed it so it, it gives you the flat cap look, but the ET is still embossed in the cap. It's so many nice little touches. And, and in here, I mean, the roll bar is great, but then this center you know, almost armrest right. pipe is, is awesome. Yeah. And all moon gauges. Moon, yes, I, I like the moon eye stuff, as you can yeah. see. Moon steering wheel, moon tack, moon gauges, moon pedals. Love the, you know, this pinstriping there. Her shifter with a cue ball. I mean, chrome trunk hinges. I love that. And then something's different back here, too. Yeah, the original 32 Chevys, the apron stopped right here at the spreader bar. Uh huh. Six deuces actually extended the apron so it's so we could fit a spreader bar in there to mount the tag tube. She's great. Thank 32 you. Chevy Roadster, made from a coupe. Had for how long? 43 years. 43 years. Neil, yep. that's a great car, man. Thank Thanks for bringing it out. Thanks. That is sweet. Thanks.
Roland, this is a sweet Cuda. 72, right? 72 Cuda? 72, yes, sir. And you've had this for a while. 20 years. That, that just amazes me. <laughs> you said you just got her back on the road. Probably only, I'm saying about two, three months ago. Oh, wow. Got her back on the road, wow. yes. Cool uh, color. It's, it's kind of B5 blue, but it's a little different. It is B5 blue. I don't know just, you know, the older cars being older lacquer and this base clear. Yeah. The shade is off a little bit. But not bad. I mean, No, and, it's not It's not far off. You've resto modded it ever so slightly, but I love the uh, nod to the past with the Kragers. Okay. I mean, oh man, it's just great. <laughs> Your interior too, you dressed up pretty stock, but with a little bit of an accent? Yes, they are the original seats and everything. I actually just got them back. We just had the guy go ahead and do blue and black leather. Well, it makes it pop because, you know, these can be kind of a black hole sometimes. You look in, it's yes. like so dark, but this, you know, it, it, it draws you in and it, and, it, and it lights the place up. Is that the original dash too? Or did you have to replace that? That's actually just a dash cover that uh -huh. we put on it. The other dash wasn't bad. Like all of them right in the center had a little yes. crack in yes. it. So we wanted to kind of address that. So we just put a cover on it. A lot of this black would have been vinyl and, and flat back yeah. in the day, but you've painted all this in. Yes. And did she have the wing when you uh, when you got it? Uh, yeah, it did. I don't believe that would have been an original, but someone did have that put on there. It looks awesome. But what's really cool, because I mean, she looks uh, she looks like a 72 Cuda. Correct, you know, It's been yes. updated a little bit, but under the hood, you updated it a lot. A Let's lot, go yeah. look at it, man. Okay. Yeah, you see, <clears throat> that's an update. Yes, a little bit of an update. <laughs> <laughs> so a 6.1 Hemi, What is that a crate motor? Um, no, it was actually a car we found, 2009 SRT8 Charger that was totaled. Oh, okay. And uh, we went ahead and pulled the drivetrain out of it. Bottom end, pretty much stock motor. We did a custom grind cam, ported polished the heads, little stuff like that. And how tough, uh, how tough was it getting it in there? It honestly wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Oh, really? Uh, just because of a uh, company we dealt with, uh, Modern Muscle in Virginia. They make a kit with the motor mounts, mm -hmm. the gas tank with the fuel pump already in it. The original transmission, I went with the 727. The old torque they made, Yeah, exactly. And they made the mounts good enough where it bolted right in. It's in the factory transmission uh, mount and everything. This is a sweet car. And you you did most of this work yourself. Yeah, I have a body shop um, that oh. we do a bunch of restorations uh, and stuff at. Because you got, you got skills. You clearly got skills. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so 1972, Cuda with a 6.1 new Hemi in it. Yes. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank That's you very sweet. much. Eddie, man, this thing is spectacular. This is beautiful. Thank you. I, you know, I was driving by and it kind of out of the corner of my eye, I see it yeah. and went, you know, it was like a classic double take. Mm -hmm. She's stunning. This is a 52 Chev, right? Yes. But man, this has had some work. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. Very much. <laughs> Starting right up here, I mean, this grill, this about four grills there. What are, isn't okay, there? It's a 57 Chevy bumper. Yeah. 53 uh, grill teeth. Uh-huh. 54 grill bar and 52 grill top. So we are four. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and these, the Dagmars are moved, aren't they? Yes, the Dagmar was moved over to line up appropriately with the lights. <sighs> Man, so you've shaved it and is it is, is the hood? The hood hasn't been touched. It hasn't. Other, so other than welding the seam that's in the No roof. kidding. Because, so. I mean, I guess what you've done just makes it look like it's, it's yes. decked mm -hmm. almost. The color is a, a stunning purple, and you've obviously dressed accordingly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but this lace work, I mean, this is so 60s. Our goal was to create a 60s style build. Well, man, you and did they, it. And kept, they kept me grounded because I had other ideas. <laughs> <laughs> no, Eddie. <laughs> no, no, you need to do this, <laughs> man. Stay here. So we stay with it, and, then, and this is the result. And this roof, man. I yeah. mean. Is that the base coming through on this lace, or do you lay that on top? Lay it, lay it on top. Top, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, and she's obviously—I mean, it's chopped. She's down, man. Yes. What, what's the chop on it? Uh, three and a half in the front, five in the back. And your interior is stunning. You know, I love the gold, but pretty much a uh, 52 dash, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. This wheel is killer too. Is that it's a stock steering wheel? Even the even the horn ring. On a horn ring. And then uh, the painted. Oh, gee. oh <laughs> man. And then nice. Oh, yo, oh, it's nice. <laughs> and I love I love the shifter up there. Mm -hmm. Oh, gee. And this all the trim looks great. Is that mm -hmm. your filler? Gas filler, yes. It's got to be very careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, with that kind of chop, what? It, 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 it can't be the original window. It's a window, window, window original just, glass. It's laid been forward? La laid forward. I cannot believe that. What's the bumper? It's a 56 Chevy bumper. 50 Pontiac taillights. Oh. <laughs> man, how many how many cars are in there? I mean, there's, a do there's a dozen there's, cars there's in there, man. At least, at least six cars. Oh, uh -huh. I, man, she's beautiful. All 50s now. Yeah. All 50s, all 50s okay. with a 60s look. Yes. All right, let's go see what you got under the hood. Okay. All right, man. Oh, oh man. So you, 
You did it in here too. Yes. Eddie, this is beautiful, man. I mean, lace on the firewall, lace on the inner fender rails, lace on your carburetor intakes. Mm -hmm. With 350? 350. Eddie, this is stunning. I mean, this is a total showstopper. Thank you. 52 Chevy with about a half a dozen other cars in there. Yes. One stunning piece, Eddie. Okay, thank you, Dennis. Beautiful, man. Well, Lee, here's a, here's a car I didn't know they made. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a 1971 Hearst Jeepster. Correct. Commando, yep. right? I've never seen one of these. <laughs> There's had no not idea. too many of them running around. Well, when I saw it, I thought, well, yeah, boy, that reminds me of a SC Rambler. Right. You know, it's got the, the, the color and the stripes. Oh, that yep. even looks like an SC Rambler hood scoop. Yeah. But, it's, but it's not no, quite, it right? Unique, it was unique to the Hearst. So she's got a tack in it. It's got a tack built in. It's a functional hood scoop. No kidding. Mm -hmm. So what's the story? I mean, again, I, I totally missed this car. What? What's well, the deal? they just didn't make very many of them, like you said. They didn't make very many Jeepsters to begin with, and then the Hearst edition was was very rare. We're guessing around 200, 250. They took them and shipped them yeah. to Hearst, right? Right, they moved them over to Hearst. Hearst did the customization. They put the emblem, stripes, hood scoop, tachometer, and the shifter. You know, you think about the, the Rebel Machine, right. you think about the SC Rambler, mm -hmm. they all had this basic color combo and the striping and you know this it's got that look yep. it's got that and it was it was amc by then too AMC. right amc bought jeep around 70 1970. that's a pretty slick interior was this a special package interior too or no, no? this is all the really the interior stock and you have linda vaughn's uh signature Vaughn, yep. of course it's linda a hearst Vaughn. you've got to have miss hearst yep. sign it and the dash was was what came with it too this is all original yeah uh, the that clock would, would have been an option i love that speedo setup that's really kind of cool yeah is that the original Basic. one yep Wow, because it's Very in awfully basic. good shape. And ha nice headliner in it. Yeah, I actually I had to buy another Jeep to get that headliner. <laughs> <laughs> really cool. And, and again, I mean, undeniably Jeepster yes. in, in its lines. <laughs> God, and the striping back here. It did it come with a chrome bumper, too? Yep. I mean, so this, thing was, this thing was pretty fancy, actually. Yeah, yeah they were. Yeah. That is pretty cool. So I saw this badged V6. Look, look at that engine. Okay. Sure. Wow, you know, it, uh, it sets surprisingly far back. Yes. No, it's a very short engine. It really, I mean, that's the whole thing, right? She's a V6? Yep. yep. What's the displacement? It's a 225. It was original Buick engine, and uh -huh. I think when Buick came out with it, it was a 198, something oh. like that. And then uh, they sold it over to Jeep, and they started using the CJ5 and the Jeepster. Uh -huh. They called it a 225 odd fire because of the fire in order. I mean, that block's not 18 inches long. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, that is... That is yep. one of the littlest V6s I've ever seen. Yeah. That is amazing. You've got to be the only kid on the block with one of these. <laughs> There's not too many left. <laughs> not at all. So you're having fun at the show today? Oh, absolutely. It's, well, Great place. A lot and, of cars here. And you are like you are totally yeah. dressed for it. Hey, right. You are like Mr. AMC here. Wow, okay, so we've, yeah. got, a, we've got a 71 Jeepster Commando Hearst, Hearst package. Edition. Hearst yep. edition. Wow, what a car. Everybody having a good time? Everybody having a yeah. good time? Yeah. Tom, a 71 Hearst El Camino, I've never seen one of these. That's because this is the only one. Well, that would explain it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they never made this? No. You made this? No, yes. We did it for Linda. We do a lot of shows with Linda Vaughn. Linda Vaughn, yeah. Yeah. We're standing by your mom's this car. This is my beautiful mother's car, Mae Vaughn. Yeah. And, and Tom and Desiree put so much love and work into it. I'm so happy. Every time I look, I think I see my mama behind the wheel of this car. On the East Coast, everybody has a hugger orange one yeah, and a yeah. silver one. So we said, let's do a Hearst let's edition. Do I mean, it looks awesome. We, they should have done this. We yeah. really should have. It looks great <laughs> in white. I don't, you hardly ever even see a white El Camino. No. Did you create the striping and everything? That's you, an SS stripe, like a Chevelle stripe. Oh, yeah? And but then the, you just had to trim it to fit? Yeah. The side stripes are like a 74 Hearst Oles, the width and everything. Yeah. The wheels are from what? They're aftermarket Hearst. They make a black one and a gold one. Oh, no kidding. And we fit the gold ones, would fit this car perfect. Now, you, you built this for Linda, or, you know, kind of Linda yeah. theme, the interior in real Hearst Oles fashion, too, right? Right, right. So is that like basically a 74 interior? Yes. The inset for a white interior, this is the, the insert. And the gold piping? They yes. had the gold mm -hmm. piping? Yeah. Man. Yeah. Now, would that have been a stock dash or you modded that's that? That's an SS dash. Okay. This had an old sweep speedometer dash in the beginning. We got rid of all that, put vintage air, Bluetooth radio, hands free, all that stuff. Serious stereo behind the yep. seats, I mm -hmm. see it. Yep. So you did not screw around here? No. 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 <laughs> How about all, yeah, all the chrome? And, is it actually stainless or is that chrome? Stainless and chrome. Oh, both, both. eh? I always love this flying buttress yeah. rear window. Yeah. yeah. Tom, this is brilliant. I mean, this is, a, this is a great idea. I've never seen one done like this and it just it just pops. Uh -huh. So what do you, I mean, uh, you run a 350 or? Yeah, it's a 350. Let's go look at it's, it. It's a crate. 
Oh, no, that looks nice. Yeah, it's a Summit Crate 50 motor. Nothing spectacular. Gray valve covers? Yeah, that came from the Summit that way. It really? The whole dress-up kit and everything. You know, it looks great. I mean, you can't beat the price. I mean, it's No, amazing. and it's, you know, and it's a new engine. It comes yeah. with warranty and everything. And 290 horse, plenty for this car. Well, and, and, and it drops right in, of course. Mm -hmm. so there's just nothing to yep. it. Yep. I mean, this thing's just beautiful. I never know what to call these. A car, a truck, or... Uh, the, I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> I don't know. You know? But it's gorgeous. 71, yep. El Camino. Hurst. Hurst equipped. Hurst to, equipped. To be official. It's yeah. awesome. Thanks, Tom. Dennis. Thank you very Beautiful. much. Beautiful. Hey, the Ridgely Car Show is a lot of fun. Well, let me tell you, you ought to check this one out. A lot of perks for this job. Hi.